Hillary Clinton has officially announced her vice presidential running mate, and that individual is Senator from Virginia, Tim Kaine. Now, there is exactly zero people excited about this. And Hillary Clinton, I mean, you've got to give credit where credit is due. She has found so many different ways to give progressives the middle finger. And this is yet one more way that she is doing that. Because if you are curious about Tim Kaine and whether or not he's going to be progressive, well, let me just tell you right now. So not only is he in favor of bank deregulation, but he is in favor of of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. In fact, recently he was just praising it. And furthermore, this individual is personally pro-life. Now that's fine, that's the same as Joe Biden's stance on abortion, but regardless if he's personally pro-life, unlike Joe Biden, it seems as though when he was governor of Virginia, well, his pro-life views actually influenced his policy because he supported the informed consent laws which requires women seeking abortions to submit to medically unnecessary ultrasounds, according to Slate. I'll put the link in the description box. And furthermore, he once supported abstinence-only sex education. He also supported a parental consent law which requires teens seeking an abortion to get the consent of their parents. So I'm sure that Planned Parenthood is incredibly proud of their endorsement of Hillary Clinton during the primaries instead of Bernie Sanders, right? But here's what's great about him. Apparently, Senator Tim Kaine made history by delivering a speech on the Senate floor in Spanish. That's right, he is fluent in Spanish. So, you, you better get excited if you weren't excited before, because, I mean, he speaks Spanish, guys. He might want to deregulate the banks and crash the economy, but you know what? He speaks Spanish, so, uh... I guess that that's all that matters. I mean, I, I don't know if Hillary Clinton could have picked someone more boring. Now, Elizabeth Warren should be feeling really stupid right now because she decided to throw her career away and piss off her own base by endorsing Hillary Clinton in hopes that she would be chosen as the VP pick. But when Wall Street tightened the lease on Hillary Clinton and said, if you choose her, you're going to lose us, Elizabeth Warren didn't realize that like Hillary Clinton always does, she decided to listen to her donors. So absolutely nobody is really surprised that Hillary Clinton would pick a spineless, centrist, corporatist Democrat like Tim Kaine. Now Hillary Clinton is refusing to speak about the DNC leak, so she conveniently decided to name her VP pick at, you know, the time when the DNC is under complete and utter national scrutiny. Well, let me tell you this about Tim Kaine. I don't give a damn about Tim Kaine. Hillary Clinton could literally pick Jesus Christ as her running mate, and that still would not get me to vote for her, especially after today. So if Hillary Clinton thinks this is going to do anything to help her campaign, it's not. It's going to be a detriment to her campaign, because Donald Trump is now going to say you and your pro-banking buddy, Tim Kaine, well, you're just in it for yourselves. You're both pro-establishment. You are both in this for your donors. And guess what? He'd be damn right to say that. You know, there are a few choices that I think would have been worse than Tim Kaine. But I mean, she really dug down to the bottom of the barrel and she chose the worst of what America has to offer in terms of Democratic vice presidential running mates. So kudos to Hillary Clinton, uh, because any hopes left of party unity are now dashed. And when she inevitably cries about party unity, when the DNC cries about party unity at the DNC convention in Philadelphia, well, just know that this VP pick of Tim Kaine, not only is it a sign that she doesn't care about progressives, but it's a sign that she is really, really arrogant. She thinks that she doesn't even have to appeal, appeal to the base. She doesn't have to choose a progressive. Any pick that she would have chosen wouldn't change my opinion on voting for her. Still, if somebody is going to potentially be the president of the U.S. or the vice president of the U.S., I do care, including Donald Trump. I care about who he picks as well, even though I never vote for him either, because this person is going to be very powerful. So Hillary Clinton, she went pro-corporate all the way, but is anyone surprised? Not at all. So Tim Kaine is a terrible pick, and it's a failed attempt to distract us from the real story that has been revealed today, and that is that the DNC is in fact corrupt. So how about the mainstream media outlets talk about that instead? Because this isn't surprising. That is what matters.